Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm your auntie of pop culture. And who didn't get fired today? It's not cute not knowing. We're going to get this hug in. Today was one of those days where there was a different big news story dropping, like literally every 20 minutes. I got up this morning. I had to do some TV. Ever since this morning, it's been it's been just like this. Big stories, big stories, big stories, big stories. We're going to start with these darn firings. They done fired my Don Levin. I said this was coming, didn't I? Didn't I say, mm, they're trying to make him scapegoat. Them low ratings over there. Uh, Don Lemon is out. CNN says <laughs> it didn't go down like that. But in between... There's some truth. After 17 years, Don Lemon is out at CNN. He has been making headlines for weeks. The Nikki Haley women of a certain age comment did not go over well. There have been various antics. You know, Don makes headlines. This is what Don does. And it just seems like they're making him a scapegoat. The ratings at CNN are horrible. Why? Because they're trying to be Fox News. Fox News light. When you turn off your base, your base will go somewhere else. CNN was not known for the news that they're doing right now. And a lot of people left. But they took Don out of nights, moved him to mornings. It wasn't a good mix with those women. You could see the tension. Um, that ain't nobody like each other up there. Nothing was really gelling with them. I think CNN will find out the hard way. By getting rid of a Don Lemon, at least Don kept y'all in headlines. <laughs> he draw people would watch him even if they didn't like him. They would say, "I don't like him," but they'd be watching him. They'd be wanting to hear what he has to say. Don Lemon had been with CNN for 17 years. He released a statement on social media because Don ain't going out quiet. He was stunned, could not believe what they had done. It was his agent who told him his services were no longer needed at CNN. And he says, well, why didn't management tell me that? CNN management claims they wanted a sit down with the management. But you know how that is. What, they have a meeting to tell me that you're firing me? And y'all know nowadays, some firings don't go down well. It doesn't. It's not easy to fire somebody because you think of their, you know, their finances. Some people, they've been jerks and it's like, okay, you need to go. But it's not easy to let someone go, especially when you know that person could be a problem. Don Lemon is out at CNN. Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. Now, this was shocking. His last show was Friday. He'll get no farewell show he was the highest rated and one of the most popular anchors on Fox, Tucker Carlson. Last week, they had to pay that Dominion service $787 million for spreading lies about the 2020 elections. The anchors knew they were spreading lies, would joke about it in memos. They knew they were telling lies, but we're here to work and we're going to push this agenda. Is Tucker Carlson being used as a scapegoat for what went down at Fox? It's going to be very interesting to hear what a Tucker Carlson has to say because he joked in memos and stuff that they knew. They knew they were spreading lies, but they kept doing it and kept going along and just giving out misinformation. Fox lost a, a, a lot of money, and now they're dumping Tucker Carlson. Now, what's coming to CNN? And I told you guys this weeks ago. Gail King, Charles Barkley. Uh, the show King Charles is going to debut this fall. Gail King is walking away with a cool $12 million. Will heavy promotion save CNN? They're only going to be on one day a week, Wednesday nights at 9. Can Gail King and Charles Barkley save this fledging network that seems lost, no identity, like they don't know what to do or who to be. This is going to be interesting. Len Goodman has died. The dancing judge from Dancing with the Stars and Strictly Business 
has died at the age of 78. He would have been 79 tomorrow. Len Goodman was known for his cranky style. I love the crankiness myself on Dancing with the Stars. A lot of people didn't like it because he didn't want no fresh dancing. He wanted you to dance. He didn't want no slick moves. He just wanted you to dance. He was about the art of dance. A lot of people thought, oh, he's too old. He's just too cranky and he don't get it. But he had his very own unique style. And for some reason, I don't, I don't know. I just I just really love Len. He retired from the show. He died of bone cancer. At the age of 78, he would have been 79 tomorrow. Our prayers go out to actor Eric Brayton. For years, we have known him as Victor Newman on The Young and the Restless. 41 years on the show. He's battling cancer. He revealed it in a very emotional post and he says he's going to continue to work through his treatments comedian and actor richard lewis has announced that he is retiring from stand-up at the age of 75 he recently revealed they've wrapped up season 12 on hbo's curb your enthusiasm which means it's going to be coming he has parkinson's disease he said he knew things were off with his body and with his walking, he got the diagnosis. And now Richard Lewis is going to retire from stand-up. Pete Davidson, he's hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend. And he had quite a weekend. He was at a basketball game and somebody got in his face. And you know how it is when a person gets too close. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He pushed the guy. So he made headlines for that. And then yesterday, he crashed his Mercedes in Beverly Hills. He not only crashed it, he crashed it into someone's house. He faces a charge of reckless driving. I love weddings. Love to go to them. And two big weddings happened over the weekend. Simone Biles married football player Jonathan Owens of the Houston Texans, dating two years. The photo, everything was beautiful from the bridal party to the reception, to the wedding, Simone Biles looked great. She met her husband on the dating app. I'm terrified of dating apps. But if you heard of the dating app, Rhea, they met on there during COVID. Lionel Richie's daughter, Sophia, got married. And I think John Lionel Richie is so happy because a couple years ago, she was dating Scott Disick and caught up on all that Kardashian mess. Scott Disick has children by Kourtney Kardashian. And he started dating Sophia. He was much older. Her parents are breathing a sigh of relief. Like, you've come to your senses. You're marrying someone close to your age. Sophia Richie looks stunning. Lionel Richie like the proud dad as he, you know, took her down the aisle. They got married in the French Riviera. Cousin Lionel, I really wish you had called me. I would have loved to have gone to that wedding. Over the weekend, I had a chance to work with the Luther Vandross Foundation. They make it possible because education was real big with Luther Vandross. They make it possible for kids to stay in school at HBCUs. What do I mean by staying in school? A lot of kids get to be sophomores, juniors, seniors, maybe fifth year students. They can't afford to stay. They don't have the money to go on. Well, the Luther Vandross Foundation makes it possible for kids to stay in school. For more info, LutherVandrossFoundation.org. It's, um, it's a great way to help kids with their education because a lot of kids have to drop out because of the lack of funds. Stevie J, his fall from grace, when he was a producer, he's dating Eve, Jocelyn, he had it going on. But now Stevie J has fallen on hard times. He's divorcing Faith Evans, and they say he has stolen one of her cars. See, Faith gonna always have money, because she was writing songs. Uh, I think Stevie J is going to have to get back that car before he gets into really serious trouble. I don't think it's going to last between, like the divorce will go through. I can't see them getting back together because they've been hashing it out and things like that. But Stevie J stole a car. Don't be surprised if, sure, 
Usher, baby, is going to be performing in next year's Super Bowl. He is getting such rave reviews on his residency in Las Vegas. It's on my bucket list of things I want to do. I've never been to Vegas, but I want to see Usher. He's getting raves. Don't be surprised if Usher is the halftime appearance. He got the hits. He got the moves. He has everything. And it's such a crowd pleaser. But you're going to be like, he said that. Catherine Jackson in 92 is in a battle with the Michael Jackson estate. When the King of Pop died in 2009, the Michael Jackson estate took over. But they were told, take care of his children and you must take care of my mother for the rest of her life. Catherine Jackson in 92 is fighting the Michael Jackson estate because they want to sell half, just half, of the Michael Jackson estate, where they would get $800 million. For some reason, Catherine is opposed to this move. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Denzel Washington, there will be an Equalizer 3, and the new poster came out. He looks menacing. You may be saying, but there's already Equalizer with Queen Latifah on TV. This is the movie. Equalizer 3 is coming to theaters in September, Halle Bailey, um, we're gearing up for The Little Mermaid. She's gracing the cover of British Vogue. Little Richard, the documentary, it's available on video on demand. Yeah, I know, you got to pay for it because it's also in theaters. But I am Little Richard. I cannot wait to see this documentary, but it's available video on demand. Your thoughts. Your thoughts. Should Donald Lemon have been fired? Tucker Carlson. Are they scapegoats for their networks, which are failing? Let me know. Can Gail and Sir Charles save the network? Do let me know. Leave a comment. Give a thumbs up. And you know what? So you never miss anything, subscribe to the channel. You will never, ever, ever miss a beat. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Maybe, uh, yeah. so